And now to a disturbing discovery at a daycare in East Harlem. Police say ghost guns were found just feet away from where children played. CBS 2's Doug Williams live at the scene as the NYPD made several arrests in the case. Doug. Maurice and Christine, police say it was in the apartment complex behind me where this daycare center was. And in that daycare center behind what they say was an unlocked door, a chilling discovery when executing a search warrant. Illegally manufactured ghost guns and the 3D printers used to make them that police say were found at a daycare center in East Harlem. The NYPD says they executed three search warrants yesterday. The third, they say, led to the seizure. Inside this daycare facility, investigators recovered a 3D printer, 3D printing tools and plastic filament, two completed 3D printed firearms, one 3D printed assault pistol in the final stages of assembly, and one additional 3D printed lower receiver. The charges will include uh, illegal firearms possession, uh, manufacturing of an assault weapon, uh, and reckless endangerment. This is a heartbreaking a uh, scenario of thinking that you're dropping your child off to a place of safe haven just to find out uh, that it was a dangerous environment. Three arrests were made. Two of the suspects are minors. The third, 18 year old Jamal Coley. Police say Coley lives in the home with his mother, who owns and operates the daycare center. Police would not comment on whether Coley's mother is facing charges as the investigation is ongoing. You got an 18 year old in his room, 3D printer. He's not making little robotic toys, he's making guns. But that, that should be scary to everyone. Just last week, one child died and several more were hospitalized after it was discovered they had come in contact with fentanyl at a daycare center in the Bronx, also used as an alleged drug operation. Mayor Adams believes changes need to be made to the daycare inspection process, not ruling out the possibility that the NYPD steps in going forward. There's an extensive process already in place, but we are just dealing with a new enemy. And we have to stay ahead of those who are finding creative ways to create dangerous environments. Health department officials say the daycare has been open since 2021. The last inspection they did was in February of this year. They say they were cited for health and hygiene issues, but took corrective action. Mayor Adams says he is leading a formal assessment of what inspectors can look for at daycare centers across the city, as well as what he can do to educate parents themselves going forward. We're live here in East Harlem. Doug Williams, CBS 2 News. Doug, thank you.